this week warned us that sea ice in the Arctic is likely to disappear during the summer at some point in the next 30 years, even if global carbon dioxide emissions are rapidly reduced. Oh, my God. The lead author of the study, Dirk Knotts, said that if we reduce global emissions rapidly and substantially, Arctic sea ice will nevertheless likely disappear occasionally in summer, even before 2050. But before we all start terrifying the school kiddies and jumping around, let's just remind ourselves, courtesy of Jamie Spry's excellent climatism blog, that climate change scientists also told us Arctic summers would be ice-free by 2013. Arctic ice would be all gone by 2012. Then in 2012, The Guardian told us Arctic experts predict final collapse of sea ice within four years. That would have been 2016. And then when that deadline was reached in 2016, The Guardian changed it and said, next year or the year after or the year after that, Arctic will be free of ice. Al Gore told us that the polar ice caps may disappear by the summer of uh, 2014, and that was six years ago. And of course, in 2008, our old favourite lovey Tim Flannery asked us to imagine a world five years from now where there is no more ice over the Arctic. Well, the pop group, the B-52s, must have listened to Mr Flannery because they did imagine just that. Bikini-clad girls in Greenland. Sadly for the B-52s and all the prophets of doom, Greenland's ice sheet is currently gaining monster amounts of frozen mass, more than 27 gigatons in one week alone. According to Electroverse, a glacier's survival depends on its surface mass balance, which is the difference between accumulation and ablation. In other words, the difference between snow freezing and ice freezing and then melting. On the back of substantial surface mass balance gains over the past few years, the Greenland ice sheet looks set to continue that trend. Between April 14 and April 18, only a week or so ago, the world's largest island added a monster 27 plus gigatons to its ice sheet. According to climate alarmists, this simply cannot be happening in a warming world. Indeed, this season's surface mass balance accumulation sits comfortably within the 1981 to 2010 average. 1981 to 2010 average, as well as surpassing last year's gains. Intriguingly, the 2018, 29, 19 line has been removed from the Danish Meteorological Institute's chart for some reason. How strange. Perhaps they've been chatting or taking lessons to our own Bureau of Meteorology. And some good news in these gloomy times. Despite the coronavirus pandemic, lockdowns, ski resorts are now reopening in three countries and in another three countries, some ski areas never even closed. But, but, but surely, but global warming, surely there aren't any ski resorts left, are there? How strange. Not to worry. Some good news for climate cultists. Or is it? According to the Daily Mail, a melting glacier in Norway has revealed some ancient artefacts dropped by the side of the road 1,700 years ago. Clothes and tools have been found at a lost mountain pass at Lendebreen in Norway's mountains. The objects that were frozen in time and in ice reveal that the pass was used in the Iron Age, from around AD 300 until the 14th century. But hang on. If the objects were found trapped in the ice, that means it was warmer back in the Iron Age when they were dropped than now. Meanwhile, North America's snow cover extent certainly isn't disappearing, even though we are now well into spring, which is, of course, what you would expect if the world was entering a grand solar minimum with low sunspot activity leading to a cooling planet. Oh, hang on, it is, according to NASA. That's what's happening. Oh, 
and I nearly forgot. I mentioned Tim Flannery before. Well, Tim had his very special anniversary yesterday, 15 years ago that Tim confidently predicted there's only two years water supply in Warragamba Dam. Well, I'm afraid, as with so many global warming predictions, Tim called it wrong. Warragamba Dam has filled not once, but four times since his prediction and for six years. From January 2012 to January 2018, it was close to 80% or above full. Currently, it's at 83%. But, but how can that be? Well, Tim, as John Fogarty once asked, have you ever seen the rain? I wanna know.